just on, a, uh, on the policy level, you see a lot of tensions traditionally between central bank governors, ministers of finance. Mm -hmm. um, but in Africa in particular, that it's sort of leveled as that's the reason why the cost of capital is so high in Africa. Is that realistic? Well, you know, I, I have a contradictory view about this mm -hmm. and I'm not, I'm not dodging the, the, the issue. You know, on the one hand, uh, good governance and credible governance gets rewarded with a lower cost of capital because mm -hmm. people can rely on the policy making being broadly constant. Yeah. And if you look at what's happened here in Nigeria the past mm -hmm. two months with the central bank governor, yeah. hugely credible figure mm -hmm. in the international markets, it's, it's kind of the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's quite interesting that no, the, no, late last year the Nigerian equity market had not been brought into this weaker thing that was going on in lots of these so-called emerging markets, mm -hmm. but now, I think year to date, it's down, what, 9%? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's a sign that policymakers need to be more careful. Mm -hmm. Now, against that, of course, the truth of the matter is many of these places are very young democracies, mm -hmm. and you can't just take it off the shelf because the fact the Bank of England's done it for mm -hmm. 300 years or the Federal Reserve Board has, and just thought, here we go. Right. Because you've got you to educate uh, people, including the politicians, to understand the importance of these things. Sure. So it's not easy. Do you think the cost of capital in Africa is obscenely high? Probably about where <coughs> it could be um, something hmm. else? Well, I'm going to give you a really strange answer. Mm -hmm. So I realised yesterday that I've been to Nigeria more times in the last year than any other country in the world except the US. Right. I'm kind of like, why? Am I like a leading indicator? Uh, a lagging indicator? Mm. Is it because my beloved Manchester United have been so badly? Mm. You know, mm. what, what is it? But <laughs> I suspect whether the level's too high or not, I, I, I think if I put everything together, we are entering an era where it is likely the cost of capital in Africa will come down. Okay. And there are decent opportunities to be had from investing here. Well, what sort of how, how, how come down? Give us an indication of what that. Uh, uh, I have broadly no, speaking, I've no idea. You know, one of the beauties of being out of my old life, mm -hmm. I don't have to forecast <laughs> anything. Okay. So I, I love that part right. of my. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.